I cannot talk about Deucalion on this channel without getting a bunch of questions about how Jennifer Blake was able to take out the twins in Kali, but then fumbled so badly when it came to Deucalion. The fact is, she screwed up big time. She completely changed the fighting style and strategy that had been working for her and tried to go psychic brute force against Deucalion. Let's take a look at Jennifer's successful fights. As you can see from this scuffle with Scott in The Girl Who Knew Too Much, Jennifer's style is bob and weave. Avoid all contact with your opponent until you see an opening and then strike with all your sacrificed dual super strength. It is a strategy that works. She does the same thing in her initial combat with Kali and Lunar Ellipse. And when she faces off with one of the twins. Now, watch her wait for her opportunity when the twins start to merge. While they're in the process and still vulnerable, she strikes. Later, once they manage to merge, it's the same pattern. She avoids its hands and then uses a combination of super strength and leverage to break its neck. The only time Jennifer relies on anything psychic is in her final confrontation with Kali. It takes power. Power like this. She admits it takes a tremendous amount of her power just to lift and propel shards of glass. Why did she then gamble her one shot at Deucalion on a quick and dirty psychic punch? That, by the way, is the best look of contemptuous condescension in the history of American cinema. But seriously, Jennifer did what she has never done before. She had success with making her opponents come to her and then dodging them, taking her time, and looking for an opening. Here... She just walks right up to him and immediately gets God. Now, she is able to use her super strength to free herself, but then she makes the exact same mistake again. She goes right up to him. So, why was Jennifer Blake able to take out two alphas, strategy and super strength? Why could she not use the exact same combo against Deucalion? 